uh, let's try to see how to solve this type of questions numerical questions which we might get in our exam so this is a very general common emitter configuration right as you can see this is a transistor and uh, we are using it is a common emitter configuration so this is your vbb this is your rb and this is vcc and rc and these voltages are voltage across the base and emitter and this is the voltage across uh, collector and emitter which i represent by vc and uh, vb so if uh, the question ask what is the load line draw the load line and uh, evaluate the q point yeah. this is the general questions right so what is the load line load line is ic versus vce curve ic versus vce curve so this is how i approach this problem i write vc what is vce vce is vc minus v correct vc minus ve so here we see that ve is directly connected to ground so ve is zero in for this question particularly if we put a register here then the answer might be different but for this case v is equal to zero so vc would be equal to vc which is a voltage at a collector and vc can be written as vcc this is your vcc right and if ic is the current through collector then the voltage dip drop across this resistor would be ic rc and we can write our vc as vcc minus ic rc so this would give you or give us the load line equation as you can see we wanted to draw ic versus vc curve so this would be our load line equation and we can plot it simply how can we plot it you can use the formula y is equal to mx plus c where x is r vce and y is our ic or there is one more way you can put vc is equal to 0 and you can see the value of ic at vc is equal to 0 the value of ic would be vcc by rc so this would this i would uh, draw here and uh, when your ic is equal to 0 your our vc would be equal to vcc so we will put this point here so. and we can just connect these two points through a line this is called load line the next question was to evaluate the q point right the q point in order to evaluate the q point we will have to first derive what is the value of ic and then we will put that value of IC here and we would evaluate the value of the corresponding VC. So that would be our step that evaluate IC and then evaluate VC. So this would be two uh, point. This is called Q point IC versus VC Q. So in order to evaluate IC, what we do, we'll first put a KCL in this loop. Because our objective is to find the IC and IC we, we will evaluate using beta IB. So this will also be given to you. Beta is the property of the transistor. So IC is equal to beta IB. So first we evaluate IB through KCL in this loop. It's very simple, you can see. This is how our IB would be evaluated and IC would be equal to beta IB. We can put this value here. And if our question says VB equal to some 4 volts and VB is equal to 0.7 and RB is equal to 1K, we can put all of this value and beta is equal to 100. So we can put all of this value and we can evaluate IC. We can evaluate IC. And first then uh, once we evaluate IC, what we can do, we can just put this value of IC here and we would get the corresponding value of VC that would give us Q1. Okay. 